Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a vlog for you today. Uh, this is actually future Lori filming the intro because I forgot to film it before I started videoing. So we are gonna go to the shoe and that is where the Ohio State Buckeyes play football. And I took you on a little tiny tour of some areas that we were in today. And then I cooked some dinner with you. And now, well in a minute, I'm gonna show you some stuff I bought. So enjoy. All right, everybody, this is the north entrance. The stadium is 100 years old this year, and that is the original entrance. Then the band would go through those gates, come down this ramp, and it's a pretty steep pitch, and they march out onto the field with 100,000 fans clapping and cheering for them. Um, on the field, we got Brutus. He is the Buckeyes mascot. And, yeah, he loves to cheer the team on. That is the south stands. That was entry. Uh, added later on. I'm not exactly sure when. Um, there is some new turf this year that we're all walking on and it's a super big deal that we're allowed on the field because you know rules. Um, so yeah this is the stadium. It is pretty old but they have added on to it over the years. And then part of the tradition of the Buckeyes, as you're going to see here in a second, is this ramp. Now, this is a ramp on the opposite end, and it says, Our Honor, Defend. I'm walking up the ramp, but when the team comes out and we cheer them on, they run down this ramp. Hey, guys. I am home from getting my credentials in perfect time because it's raining out. And it's cool today. So I made some coffee and I stopped at Aldi and I thought I would show you what I got. I also went to Costco. I haven't had groceries in this house in several weeks. So I needed a bunch of stuff. So I got some of these little mini bell peppers. I love these. And I got the Borson cheese, like the little cheese that comes in the round. I got it at Costco. So that'll go with that cucumbers because I'm having salads this week. I made, I got little heads of romaine and I got grilled chicken at Costco to have for salads. I grabbed some onions because I'm out and it's, it's the season where I like to make stews and roasts and stuff. So I'm going to need onions. Oh, I got some keto ice cream. This is mint chocolate chip. Okay, it's not a really good clean keto ice cream, but sometimes, I don't know what's happening in my freezer. It's snowing. Sometimes you need ice cream. I got some cute cheese to cut up just to have, Swiss and sharp cheddar. Oh, and I need to put this in the freezer. I got some wild caught Alaskan cod. And these, if you can see them, they're portioned. So they're individually frozen, each filet. And what I'm gonna do is make, um, like I did my chicken wing, my chicken tenders, like I'm gonna do breaded, breaded chicken keto style with pork rinds and Parmesan cheese. And then I can take one piece out batter, dip it and put it in the air fryer and make like a fish sandwich. Um, I got these egg white wraps. These are fantastic for sandwiches, for all kinds of stuff. And they only have zero carbohydrates. It's made with egg whites, xanthan gum, salt, um, eggs. That's it. And they're delicious. And they have a pretty decent shelf life. This is best by October 12th. I will eat them well before October 12th. So I grabbed those. I get those at Aldi. Oh, I got something new to try. Palmini. So this is Hearts of Palm. There are four grams of carbs, two fiber, one sugar. Um, it's sliced Hearts of Palm, water, sea salt, and citric acid. And it makes like a rice. I've tried the noodles before. I'm gonna try this rice. Who knows how it's gonna taste. And this is good until 
September 8th. So I'll have it before them. And I got some coffee creamer because that's how I roll around here. Need to have cream for the coffee. And then the last thing I picked up, which the price is going up on eggs. I grabbed a dozen eggs and they're normally like 70 cents in my Aldi's. They are $2.49 now for a dozen eggs. So we won't be uh, making a lot of eggs. I don't go through a lot unless I'm cooking or baking, but yeah. So that's what I got at the Aldi for groceries for the next week or two, really. I mean, I'll pick up things interim wise, but I really needed to do some serious shopping. I need coffee too. So what I'll do is cut up an onion and then I'll cut up a cucumber and put, leave it in the fridge. So when I make salad, I will have cut up ingredients. I'm taking stuff out that needs to be clean from last week. I'll show you what I buy. My pepper's open. Oh no. Um, okay. This is the chicken I get at Costco. And what I do is I will cut it in half, put one in the fridge and one in the freezer. And that way I'll have these for the next time that I decide I want to make salads or anything I need chicken for. But that is what I got at the grocery store this week. We're gonna clean up around here and then I'll be back. Okie dokie, getting ready to make some dinner. I am preheating my air fryer. Gonna put some onion rings in that I have pre-made. These are with the um, pork rind dust and cheese. So these are keto. And then we're gonna cook a couple of these and I'll have one for dinner and one for lunch tomorrow. And those are chicken tenders. But while that is heating up, we're gonna put our pickles in my Piccadilly. If you, knew, if you grew up in the 70s, uh, my grandma had one of these in green. It is a Tupperware pickle holder and it brings your center up. So what we're gonna do first is just get the juice in here. Oh, first we're gonna put the food now. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. All right, onion rings first. So I get a lot of questions about this. I'll just make that many onion rings. I've already sprayed the bottom with avocado oil, and I'm gonna spray the top with avocado oil. It is set on 400 degrees, and it's just gonna go. It's set for 20 minutes, but it won't take that long for the onion rings. I'm putting them back. Okay, back to the pickles. Um, the onion rings won't take a full 20 minutes, but they'll do their thing. Um, yeah, and then I'm just gonna get my pickles in here. I like putting them in here. It's just easier for me to get to when I want a pickle. I get these at Costco. Two jars of the Vlasic Purely Pickle are like five or six dollars and there's no sugar added to them. So then I just, when I want a pickle, pull it up and when I don't, I leave it down and everything is nice and tidy in my refrigerator. I will tell you these things are not cheap. I think it was like 30 something dollars, which is kind of crazy. But, you know, Tupperware, right? Hold on, I'm getting nothing else. Okay, so we did that, wiping things down. The onion rings will cook. I made more coffee. My other coffee, I made it too sweet. I put some pumpkin spice syrup in it and I didn't like it. So this is just plain coffee. And I think we should light a candle on the stove tonight. What do you guys think? It is storming outside. 
But I am home from getting my credentials and I went to Joanne. I'll show you here in a second what I bought at Joanne. <laughs> but I have my candle going, I have the onion rings going, and yeah, I'll bring you back when the onion rings are done and I put the chicken tenders in. Okay. I got these out. I did flip them over. You'll start smelling the onion. And then as they cool, they'll get a little more crispy for you. This one kind of stuck a little bit, but that's okay. So onion rings are done. I'm gonna leave those there. And then I'm gonna take out two. And these are all frozen, by the way. And I made these with uh, pork rind and, oops, ah, pork rind and Parmesan cheese. And I think I've showed you in a previous video. So it's at 400 degrees. I've got two more frozen ones left for another day. And now I will just throw a little salt on the onion rings and wait for the chicken to be done. And oops, a little salt. And then I will have dinner. And I do the same thing in here. You just smell it. You gotta kind of practice and know when it's done. But I will tell you, hot. These are so good. These onion rings, so good. Look at the steam. I don't know if you can see it, but they're hot. The only thing is they're not as oily, which I don't care. But this is dinner tonight for me. Oh, hi, buddy. What you need? And I will tell you, turn on your air vents if you're using an air fryer. My smoke detector goes off every time. I'll show you when the chicken tenders are done. Okay, chicken tenders are complete. And listen to this. Here, I'm going to pull them out for you. I'll just put them both on my plate. Ooh, but listen to this. Ooh. These are crunchy. They are so good. I love them a lot. I'm just cleaning my, I put it in the sink with some hot water while I eat dinner and that just soaks it. So I have that and then I'll grab, I have some no sugar added ketchup. So I'm feeling tonight. And there is my dinner. I'll have some veg later, but that's it. And it all came out of the air fryer and all this was pre-made. All right, I'm hungry. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, so I did a little bit of shopping this weekend. Oh, I, I want to say hi. And I have Mr. Wellington and he's like, lady, lady, no, don't hold me. Say hi. Okay, go lay down. He's just gonna sit on my lap, apparently. Hi, Alex. All right, you get down. Thank you. Come here, Alex, your turn. He's like, lady, he won't, He doesn't want me to pick him up. Okay, so I went shopping. I just stopped at a couple places and I thought I would show you what I picked up. So the first place I went was to Michael's. I'm actually looking for some beads, but I just ordered what I needed on Amazon. But at Michael's, I found these, look at them. They're little snowman beads for, for making jewelry, but what I'm gonna make is some pin toppers for my pin cushion. And so I'll put these on some straight pins. Ooh, it's blurry, but they're little snowman. Um, they were not half price. Well, there was a sign that said they were half price. And when I asked the lady, she was like, no, that was last week's sale, but she gave me the price because they were still on the, the sign was still up and you get five little snowmen so I can make five pins. And then I bought some garland for fall. I love this. I decided I'm gonna go blue again, but with neutrals and go more texture, bring more texture in. And I love this with the little pumpkins 
hanging on it. So I grabbed this. Oh, these were $6.99 half price. This was $19.99, 40% off. So I paid like $11.99 for this garland and it fits my mantle just perfectly fine. Um, then I went to Hobby Lobby this weekend. I needed some dye, just basic black writ dye. So I might have got bleach on my black work pants and shorts. And so I'm going to use this and try to fix it. If not, I'm only out $2.99. So this is dye, but I can also use this to dye, uh, cross stitch fabric. And then I found these. I'm so excited. I have several pair of these earrings. Wait, let's see. So these are just, I mean, you can make a necklace or earrings and they're different size beads to make a Santa. I have them in green for the Grinch and then I have a snowman pair. And so I wanted these. So I grabbed them, they were 40% off, but this will make three pair of earrings. So I think what will happen is for Sarah's advent calendar, these might either a necklace or earrings will be, will go into her box. So I can't decide, cause I think she has these earrings. So I might make her a necklace to wear over the holidays. Um, but I'm gonna get some earring hoops or some earring, the like the earrings and attach these and I will wear them for earrings at Christmas time and I'll make a couple pair. And that's what they can be or zipper poles or whatever. I can take one and just make her a necklace too, which maybe is what I will do. I can't remember, I have to ask her if she has the other earrings. Cause I think her mom for Christmas got her the Santa and me the snowman. I'll have to show you guys. Um, I needed a frame, so I grabbed this 5x7. It was on clearance for $3.99. I have a really oh, I have a really cute picture of the cats that I have already printed from the printer. So now I just want to um, put it in a frame and put it on my mantle of my boys. So I grabbed that while I was there. And then tonight I went to Joann's. Um, I was looking for some beads, which I didn't find there either. So that's why I ordered them. But I did find this Halloween fabric. I am obsessed. They had it in this orange and then they had the same print with like a neutral background, but I really like the orange and I love the Halloween and the eye and the trick or treat and the raven. Uh, I'm sorry, the skeletons with the crown. There's owls somewhere in here. There's a black cat. It says trick or treat, Halloween the 13th. And I'm gonna make a project bag out of this for all of my Halloween stitching. So I don't, I don't have a bag for every project, but what I'm trying to do is make themed bags. So like this will be for all of my Halloween stuff. So any project that I work on for Halloween should go in this bag. And then I have some for like summertime. I have my bees. Guys, I have a lot of bags, but this piece of fabric was $5.10. I have backing fabric and I have the fusible fleece and I have the zipper, so why not? So I have that and I even have charms to make my zipper pull oh and if i make sarah a necklace out of this instead of earrings i will take this other one and because i'll make two sets of earrings and then i will make a zipper pull for my christmas bag because and then the last thing i got there is a zipper pull well it's a pendant i can make a necklace out of it it has a squirrel a leaf and an egg corn and I love it and I think it would make a fun necklace but I think it would make a more fun zipper pull on one of my fall bags that I'm making um yeah so this is fun I may make it a necklace I may go back and get a second one and put one as a zipper pull and make one a necklace I don't know I don't know but I like it I love the color and I think it would look really fun as like a chunky long, like a long necklace. I think that would be super fun. I'll have to see if I can find, go back to Joanne and see if I can find the matching chain for that. 
And then I ran into Goodwill, no, it was St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. And I was looking for stuff and I didn't find much, but I did find this metal basket. I mean, this is metal and I love it. There's a little spider on the inside, but and it looks like a cobweb and it's, it's nice metal, $1.99. And for Halloween, I have some jewel colored pumpkins that are like velvet jewel tone and I want to put them in here and sit them on my mantle or on my table or something. And I didn't really have anything ever to put them in, but they will go in here. It's also like has a handle, which I could hang it, I guess, but I probably won't. So that was everything I got other than my Dollar Tree stuff, which the Dollar Trees, I mean, I found some good stuff, but it's all seasonal items so I need to get sewing on my bags I need to get my wood burner out I need to make some things for my trip to London for my table mate gifts that I'm gonna bring and I also need to get some stuff printed I only got two months to get all this stuff done for my trip so there's that all right, everybody. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day, a great week, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.